this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University and today I'm going to show you how to plant peppers and melons together. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to prepare your soil and that's simply loosening up the soil, adding a good amount of compost or organic material to it. Do not add any type of slow release fertilizer at this point and I'll explain why later on in this video. Now, the first thing that I'm going to plant is I'm going to plant my pepper plant first because you don't plant pepper seeds in the garden, you start them indoors. While melons do much better if they're planted by seed in the garden soil because melons don't do well when they're transplanted based on the fact that they have a shallow root system. And if you disturb that shallow root system, more likely the plant is going to die. Now I'm going to dig a hole that is the same depth as this plant, but twice the width. So I'm going to dig my hole and I'm going to test to make sure that this hole is deep enough. And as you can see, my fingers go down, so I need to add a little soil to the hole. And now that this soil level and this soil level is the same, I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to gently push down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my melon seeds. And these are seeds that I saved from last year and they're actually cantaloupe seeds. And all melon seeds generally are planted two to three in a group and they're planted a half an inch to an inch in depth. So I'm going to plant three. Once they germinate and they have their second set of true leaves, I will go in and thin out the seedlings, keeping the strongest looking seedlings. So I'm going to dig a hole and I'm going to plant my three seeds in here and then I'm going to cover it up, gently tap in. At this point, I would water in thoroughly. Now you may ask, why did I not apply a slow release fertilizer? You never want to apply a slow release fertilizer when you're planting seeds. Wait till after your seedlings have germinated and they have at least two true leaves on them. Then you can add the fertilizer. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University.